Hey everyone! So I had received a bunch of requests for a verbal instruction rather than a written instruction for our 10 minute transparent soap. So that is what we are going to do today. So our ingredients are our water and glycerin mixed together. We've got our sodium hydroxide or our lye. We've got that covered since it's hygroscopic in nature. We've got our coconut oil, stearic acid, our alcohol, and for alcohol I had questions on what type of alcohol you can use, and you can use grain alcohol, high strength vodka, um, you can even use rubbing alcohol, so 91 to 99% rubbing alcohol, and there's different types, so, or depending on where you're at, grain alcohol is an option too. So alcohol, then we have our propylene glycol, and then last we have a sorbitol solution. So you want to take your sorbitol and then dissolve it in water and heat it up so it turns into a clear solution. So for our oils, we want to make sure that our oils are heated up. Let's make sure the temperature didn't drop. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put on my gloves for protection. I've got goggles on as well. Long sleeves, closed toed shoes, and pants. I'm going to put a respirator on during the soap making process too, which is usually why I don't do verbal instructions. Okay. This is a lye solution, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this, and then I'll join up with you guys in just a second. Once our lay solution is completely mixed, go ahead and pour that into your hot oils. And then that might start to bubble up, or depending on the size of your recipe, it might expand too. That's because of the stearic acid, which doesn't have that glycerol bond. So as soon as you're adding the lye, it's immediately reacting. You can just take your spoon. If you've got larger batches, you can use your immersion, immersion blender for this part. But if not, we can just use a spoon. And stainless steel, rubber, polypropylene for all of your mixing containers and for your mixing utensils. So now that this is mixed, I am going to put a cover on it and allow it to sit for just a minute or two. Timer is set for two minutes. Be right back. a look at this. Now it has that kind of, it went from an opaque color to a more gel color and that's what we're looking for. Once we've got that, we can go ahead and start adding our solvent. So first we're going to add our alcohol. And we are going to begin to stir that.
and we can add our propylene glycol. Notice how that's already starting to clear up down there. Cover this one more time and then add my sorbitol last. So, covering it for two minutes. And then last, we will add our sorbitol. See how clear that is already. So you can see that some of them have a little bit of bubbling on top. You can spray alcohol on it, this one right here. It's completely clear, but they will clear up. So I'll come back in just like a minute or two and you'll see that the tops have completely cleared up. Alrighty, so that's what they look like after a couple minutes. Completely clear. So you will leave these out overnight. Um, you can also freeze them, but I found that leaving them out overnight does just the same thing and they will be hard the next day. All right, so this is our finished clear soap. That is it.